So what you see here is an expression for what is known as the transducer gain. And like I said before, um, the gain of, amp of an amplifier is controlled by the design of the input and output matching networks, uh, which is represented here by the gamma S and the gamma L parameters. So this expression for the transducer gain is derived using signal, signal flow graphs, which are discussed in chapter four. So I'm not gonna spend any time today going over signal flow graphs from chapter four, uh, but basically you've seen this before in other control systems courses for simplifying uh, block diagrams representing uh, control, various control systems. So this is a table from chapter four. It shows uh, various uh, simplifications that can be made to signal flow diagrams. Uh, you can see here that if you have a, if you have a signal that's being uh, multiplied by the branch S sub B A and then the output of that so here you would have um, B equals A times S B A and then at this point here C would be uh, B times S C B well then you can simplify this and you can say that uh, C is going to be A S B A times S CB. So there's a, a various simplifications that can be made in order to simplify uh, signal flow diagrams like the one that was shown previously. So here's a, a, a quick little example. We won't get into it, but basically through a sequence of five steps, you can see that the uh, signal flow graph that we that we saw earlier is simplified into into the one shown down here. So we won't get into the details of this, but it's in chapter four. And if you want to review it, then then go ahead. One thing I do want to point out here is that uh, during this process, the input reflection coefficient can be derived. Uh, so we recognize that from uh, last chapter. I derived it a, a different way, but it can be derived using the uh, signal flow graphs like this. So today we're going to see five different expressions for gain. Um, it's not complicated, but it can be a little bit confusing, especially uh, once we get into the next section and we talk about transforming uh, these gain circles from the gamma L plane into the gamma uh, S plane because it just adds additional expressions that we have to deal with. Um, but those expressions are built into uh, QUCS, uh, which we're going to be using for uh, any of the design work that we do in assignments and stuff like that. So um, you don't have to worry about it too much. So here, here we have the general expression for the transducer gain. If you substitute the expression for gamma in, into uh, this equation for GT. After some simpl simplification, you end up with an, an expression for the transducer gain in terms of uh, gamma in. Uh, you can also do the same thing in terms of gamma out. Substitute that into the equation here on the top and you end up with another expression in terms of, of uh, gamma out. So these three equations here are used to derive other constant gain expressions. So the other three expressions are shown down here uh, in the red box. So between this class and the next class, these are the three equations that we're going to be dealing with primarily. Uh, today we're going to be looking at uh, just the uh, operating gain and the unilateral gain uh, expressions. Um, we'll get into the other one here, which is the available power gain uh, next class. But basically, like I said, the equations for the transducer gains are used to derive these other three equations. So basically for the uni unilateral gain expression, uh, if you assume that none of the signal that's reflected at the uh, output matching network is transferred uh, back through the uh, transistor um, and into the, the input port, uh, then you can set S12 equal to zero and you end up with this equation here. Okay, so anytime you're dealing with the transistor where S12 is, is a small value, uh, then you can basically make this uh, approximation and end up with uh, some satisfactory results. So, so the next expression for gain is the is what's known as the available power gain expression and it's derived from uh, this expression for the transducer gain where we assume that the output of the transistor is perfectly matched to the load and if you make that substitution and do a little bit of simplification then you end up with this expression for the available power gain here. Similarly for the operating gain uh, you start off with this expression for the transducer gain you make the assumption that the input of the transistor is perfectly matched to the uh, to gamma S or the uh, the input matching network, and after some simplification, you end up with this expression here for the operating gain.